Audio is one of the most important things when it comes to your recordings or your live streams. Elgato has come back to the rescue to save our audio from this horrible sound. Oh my god. You're just trying to charge your controller while you're streaming to get a little bit more gameplay time in and you got to deal with that sound. So that's why Elgato came out with the Chat Link Pro which is right here in front of me. We're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna show you guys how to use it as well as what's changed and if it's worth it for you to even pick up. Let's go. When you get the Chatlink Pro and you unbox it for the first time, one of the first things you're gonna see is the update and quality of the cable itself. You can see that it's braided and it's much stronger of a material that'll withstand the everyday wear and tear of your gaming sessions. The next thing you'll see on the far side of the cable is this newly added switch, which is called a ground loop isolator. When you have this isolator switch set to on, it'll prevent that electrical feedback interference that you'll hear in your headset, as well as your gameplay audio captures. As for the capture cards that'll work with this cable, they're going to need a line-in port. So such as the Elgato HC60S, the S Plus, if it has a line-in, you'll be able to plug in your chat link into the capture card. As for the headsets you can use, well, they're going to need to have a 3.5 millimeter male input. The Pulse 3D headset is a good example of a headset you can use to pair with the chat link. Things that still don't work, Bluetooth. You can't use Bluetooth, guys, or USB headsets. It's unfortunate, but if you're connecting a wireless headset to your PlayStation 5 console, then that's where your audio is going to go. It's gonna to go to your wireless headset, and it's not going to be able to be recorded by Elgato in any sort of way. Don't blame Elgato for this one, because this is PlayStation not allowing you to have multiple audio outputs to be able to record things easier. Something else to keep in mind here, guys, is that the Chatlin cable is meant to record all of your audio from your console. It's not meant to pick up your commentary or the microphone from your headset connected to the chat link cable. That's only for your party to be able to hear you on the console. If you wanna have a commentary over your gameplay, then you're going to need to connect another microphone to your computer and then select that microphone in your software so you can be heard. Not to get too sidetracked here, but can we appreciate how long this cable is? It's 250 centimeters, which is 98 inches, but that's really long. This will work with any setup. But anyways, speaking of your setups and connecting this to your consoles, let's show you how you can do that. You can set up the Chatlink Pro cable the same way that you set up the original Chatlink cable. Starting on the side with the two connectors, you wanna plug in the 3.5 millimeter input into your controller or your Nintendo Switch. Then you wanna take your stereo headset and plug that into the female input. And then lastly, you wanna take the far end of the Chatlink cable and plug that 3.5 millimeter input into the capture card. Once this is complete, you want to open up your Elgato Capture software and then go into your settings and then make sure that you have the audio set to analog audio. If it's set to HDMI, you won't receive any audio using this cable, so make sure that it's on analog. With that setting in place, you will be able to get your audio to come through when you use programs like OBS and Streamlabs OBS. Now, if you're on PS4, you wanna make sure that all of your audio is going through your controller through the chat link. So to verify that, you wanna go into your quick menu settings and then find the all audio set to headset option and make sure that it's set to all audio and not chat audio. On the PlayStation 5, it's very similar. Just go into your quick menu settings and then go to sound. And then within here, you'll see the headset controller option. So make sure that's selected. And if you're in a party, you can go to the option below that setting and balance out the game audio as well as the party chat audio. This is a great feature that's easily accessible on the PS5. So there shouldn't be any reason that you guys should have low audio on either ends of the spectrum. As for the Nintendo Switch, I don't have a Switch. Sad day, right? Should I try to hunt down the Switch OLED? I low key kind of want it. You guys let me know in the comments if it's worth it. But as far as I understand with the Switch, it's plug and play and you really need this Chatlink Pro cable if you want good audio from the Switch because without it, you're going to always be experiencing that electrical feedback. Those are the consoles that this cable is marketed for. But what if I told you that this could also be used with the Xbox Series S and X consoles? No, Midnight Man, they said you didn't need the cable with the Xbox. Wrong, but kind of right. On the Xbox, if you navigate over to your settings, go to general and then go to the audio section, you'll see that you can set your party chat and your game audio to come through your headphones 
and speakers. That's a great setting and it's exactly what the PlayStation 5 needs. But I did test this, it does work, but only for the Xbox Party Chat system. For those of you guys that cross play with friends using other devices and you're trying to chat with them using the game chat, so like let's say you're in Warzone or Fortnite and you plug in a pair of headphones to your controller, it will stop their chat audio from coming through and they won't be heard. Here's an example. You won't be able to hear my voice anymore coming from my phone through the Xbox. I just plugged it in. Can Can I be heard anymore on the Xbox? I just activated my microphone on my computer. It's still detecting that I'm talking, but it's not being heard through the Xbox. And this is where the chat link cable for the Xbox can come into use. For the Xbox party chat, the audio won't be rerouted, but for the game chat, it does. It's kind of wacky, but that's how it is. And if you're someone who cross plays with friends and you know they can't use Xbox party chat system, then you're going to need the chat link cable if you want their voices to be heard on your stream. So to test this cable in action, let's listen to the beautiful sounds of the PlayStation 5 home screen and what it would sound like without and with the ground loop isolator. Now we'll plug in the USB-C cable from the PlayStation into the controller with the ground loop isolator turned off. Okay, now let's turn the ground loop isolator on. The buzzing sound is gone. Well done, Elgato. Well done. But for real though, the Chatlink Pro Cable is the real deal. Definitely a good upgrade from Elgato. It's, I think this is great for people who are just getting in the streaming and you need to get your gameplay audio and your chat audio out of your controller so you can also pair it with your headset. This is also great for people who do long streaming gaming sessions and you need to charge your controller at some point or hey, maybe you only have one controller and if that's all you got, if that controller dies and you're trying to game, then your stream's over. There's nothing you can do or just have your audience deal with a buzzing sound and yeah, nope, we, we don't want that. I'd also recommend it for those Xbox users that need their game chat recorded. If you're sticking with the Xbox party system or hey, maybe you're listening to your audio through your computer or something, then you don't need this cable. But if you cross play with friends or you like to chat with random people in game, then you'll want a chat link cable. Maybe not necessarily this one because you don't charge the Xbox controller like you do the PlayStation controller. So you can use any chat link cable, not necessarily this one. I would not recommend this chat link pro cable to those of you trying to listen to all of your audio from your computer. So not just the game and chat, but Spotify, Discord, alerts. If you're trying to hear those things, then you need to have your audio all going over HDMI to your computer and listening to it there. That scenario might not work for everyone because maybe you don't want to use Discord. Maybe you want to use the PlayStation 5 party chat. You're going to need an additional USB mic then to plug into your PlayStation so people can hear you in the PlayStation chat. But um, you know, in other circumstances, some people have capture cards that just have a delay on them. And if you have an audio delay, you don't want a game at that sort of disadvantage. So in that case, until you can upgrade your setup to something like the Elgato HD60S Plus, where there is no delay and you can listen to your audio in real time, then you may wanna still consider having the chat link cable. I think overall with the upgrades that they added to this cable, if it fits your criteria for something that you need, it's not a bad buy. I will say though that the audio still comes in soft and that's just because of your headset volume that you have on the console. So if you need to raise your audio levels in something like OBS or Streamlabs OBS, just add a gain filter to the audio track and then just raise it as much as you need. And that'll fix your low audio issue. I realized that was kind of some bonus info, but I wanted to throw it out there for you guys. Anyways, thank you so much for staying to the end of the video if you enjoyed it make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and i will catch you in the next one peace guys